Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see configure sensitivity label policies in Microsoft Purview. In the last video, what we did was we created sensitivity labels. But now we'll create sensitivity label policies. So when you create a sensitivity label, it has no effect on users until it is published. We created sensitivity label policies to publish one or more labels to your office apps like Outlook and Word, SharePoint and Site. So just creating a label would not have any effect until you create a policy to publish it. Okay, you publish it on uh, Microsoft 365 Groups, Microsoft Teams. Once they are published, labels can be applied to protect their content. Now we list down the steps that are involved in sensitivity label policies configuration. Let me show you how you do it. Let me quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. All right, so I am logged on to the portal and uh, you see this, this is the label that we created. Now what we'll do is we will publish it. So we'll choose the label to publish. I've selected this label that I will publish it. Either you get an option from here, publish label, and then you publish it to users and groups. Then you define the settings, then you define the name and description, then you review your settings. Okay, I select this label, I click on publish label. Now, it will ask me to create a policy to publish it label. I'm doing this, I click on next assign admin units so choose the admin units you would like to assign this policy to admin units are created in microsoft entry id or formerly called as azure ad and it will restrict the policy to a specific set of users or groups your selections will affect the location options available to you in the next steps you select it from here Click on next. Then it says publish to users and groups. This step involve, involves choosing the users or groups to whom the label should be published. This would govern what users see the label, not where they see the label. Okay. The types of groups supported are email enabled security groups, dynamic distribution groups and Microsoft 365 groups. So you, would, you should consider publishing the label to a test group with a few members first. You can add more groups to the policy once you validate it's working correctly. So I should not do this. I should not enable it to all the users and groups. Okay. I should assign it to specific users and groups. This is my account. Let's say I select Alex Wilbur. Okay, done. Next, it says now policy settings. The label, you can select whether you want to apply a default label to documents and email. I am uh, I'm marking the setting for justification for removal, which is users must provide a justification to remove a label or lower its classification. So if I select this option, it means that the user has to provide justification if a label is removed or if the classification is lowered. And then you click on require users to apply a label to their emails and documents. Selecting this option means users are required to apply a label to their email or document. Custom help require users to apply a label to their fabric and Power BI content. Provide users with a link to a custom help page. You can do that. You click on next. Apply a default label to documents. The label you choose will automatically be applied to Word, Excel and PowerPoint when they are created or modified. So let's say I select this is the label that should apply as a default label to all the documents. 
click on next apply a default label to emails you require users to apply a label to their emails inherit label i'm just selecting okay apply a default label to meetings and calendar events this is the one i mean it's not mandatory you can remove it as well all right and you can change it anytime you want no you enter the name of the policy you can say my test description next you review your settings and then you click on submit so this is how you configure sensitivity label policies all right i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further questions please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day and you see new policy has been created